The cows on these farms are much larger and produce more milk than ordinary cows. However, the real secret is hidden in the incredible technologies used. These farms are equipped with state-of-the-art machinery. These machines automatically prepare feed mixtures tailored to the needs of each cow. Thus, cows become healthier and more productive by getting all the nutrients they need. Ready to learn how humble sheep turned into luxury wool purveyors? These sheep are not ordinary sheep. They are bred specifically for their high-quality wool. Shearing day is a real event on the farm. It's truly amazing how this wool is used. From cozy sweaters to chic fashion wear, from homewares to accessories, the versatility of wool is endless. Goat farming can be much more interesting and profitable than you think. Goats can live comfortably even in the harshest conditions, thanks to their endurance and agile nature. Farmers provide goats with ample pastures, feed them with the best feed, and constantly monitor their health. Healthy and happy goats are the key to high-quality milk production. Red snapper fish farming is a sector that is in great demand, especially in the seafood market. As the fish grow, they are moved to larger tanks or specially prepared cages at sea. These cages allow fish to live in conditions similar to their natural habitat. Farmers constantly monitor the water quality and ensure optimal nutrition of the fish. Red snapper are fed protein-rich feed, which helps them grow quickly and healthily. When it is time to harvest, the fish are carefully collected and processed immediately. Fresh Red Snapper is a high-value commodity for restaurants and supermarkets around the world. Farmers work diligently to ensure the health and welfare of bison. Bison are generally fed natural grasses, which ensures their meat is high quality and nutritious. Caring for bison can be a little less intensive than other farm animals because bison are more resistant to disease and harsh weather conditions thanks to their natural hardiness. However, their health is still constantly monitored with regular veterinary checks and feeding programs. Bison farms have large areas, allowing these animals to display their natural behavior. Beekeepers use special techniques to stimulate royal jelly production. First, they simulate the absence of queen bees in hives. This signals that the worker bees need to raise a new queen, thus beginning the production of more royal jelly. Beekeepers carefully select larval cells and place young larvae in these cells. Worker bees feed these larvae with copious amounts of royal jelly.
The most interesting and valuable part of scorpion farming is poison production. Scorpion venom is of great importance in medical research and pharmaceutical production. The poison is used especially in areas such as cancer treatment, painkillers, and antibiotic development. Farmers use special and precise techniques to collect venom from scorpions. This process must be done safely and without harming the scorpions. The venom of scorpions has a high value even in very small amounts. One gram of scorpion venom can be sold for thousands of dollars. This makes scorpion farming a very profitable business. Turkey farming is a process that requires care and attention. When it is time to harvest, turkeys are carefully collected and processed. Turkey meat is an excellent option for a healthy diet with its high protein content and low fat content. Turkey meat is in great demand, especially on special occasions such as New Year's Eve and Thanksgiving. Farmers earn significant income by making high sales during these periods. Eel farming is a sector that requires extreme expertise and uses advanced technology. The factories where these fish are grown are equipped with large tanks and pools that mimic natural living conditions. Eel farming is economically very profitable. High demand and market value provide large incomes to farmers. Additionally, this sector provides social benefits by creating employment and contributing to local economies. Imagine, think of a factory, but this factory raises pigs. Yes, you heard right. These huge farms are full of amazing automation systems and produce millions of dollars each. Production efficiency on these farms is so high that farmers earn millions of dollars a year. They make huge profits not only from meat production but also from the sale of biogas and other byproducts. Octopuses are grown in these factories, and this technology earns farmers millions of dollars. Matured octopuses are moved to special compartments for the harvesting process. Octopuses entering the processing line are first taken to the cleaning stage. Cleaned octopuses are transported to the slaughtering section. Here, experienced workers carefully cut and process octopuses. Octopus parts, whose cutting and processing processes are completed, are sent to the packaging department. Oysters are brought to the factory in specially designed transport tanks. Here, employees examine each oyster one by one and check whether it meets quality standards. Cleaned oysters are transported to the sorting and classification section. Classified oysters enter the processing line. In these farms, pigeons are raised and processed with the latest technology and meticulous care. When the pigeons reach a certain maturity, the slaughtering and processing process begins. At this stage, pigeons are carefully selected and prepared for their meat. The cutting process is carried out meticulously under hygienic conditions and by experienced employees. 
The meat of slaughtered pigeons is processed in accordance with quality standards.